I'm part of the new advanced teaching group, which is led by Dr. Graham Roberts. Um, Graham, are you somewhere? Yeah, there's Graham. And uh, we have staff in the administration, in the tech support groups, and across a number of different research groups that have joined us to formulate what will be the best strategies for the future of teaching computer science. The students that we have across all year groups, from first years, second years, third years, fourth year, MEng, and MSCs, are all aiming for these companies. More importantly, these companies are aiming for our students. In actual fact, in the last three years, all of these companies have been working on projects with our students even before they have graduated. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about how we form that association and relationships and how we intend to promote its activities in the near future. The first is to meet the expectations of industry and in order to do that, we need industry to come in. We need to form the ties that will enable us to see the changes that are always evolving and bring that into our research and teaching agendas. What we have is a number of different mechanisms in place where our students are working on problem-based learning, but instead of creating constructed theoretical scenarios, we actually ask people. We say to clients, hi, you need an app, you need some software, you need a web service, what can we build for you? We want real-world requirements. We want to actually elicit the clarity of thought that will go through what do end users need once we reach that stage where software is to be deployed. We're very grateful that we've invited um, honorary research associates, Jeff. Hi, this is Jeff Hughes from Microsoft, who's joined us recently. And IBM has also joined us. Um, and we will be rolling out more um, connectivity with direct companies, bringing it into our own syllabus creation and the way in which we roll out projects. We have what we call the call for apps, and that is twice a year, our courses will promote across UCL faculties a call for software, but also outreach to charities, small businesses, large businesses, and of course the major corporations. We have been updating all of our lab facilities. So considering our new 3D lab, our, fi our finance lab, um, we have uh, labs for constructing things uh, with uh, Nginos and Arduinos, um, we have a number of different facilities specifically steered towards the creativity and problem-solving aspects that are part of real-world project uh, solution finding. We'll also soon be looking at manufacturing and robotics. This is in our agenda for the coming years. So in, this pictures, in these pictures here, we have Chris Scoggins from the National Rail Inquiries. Our students over the summer deployed a, um, a big data implementation, which is now in use for the National Rail. We have in the top corner uh, a group of students that in their own time created a special interest group on 3D software engineering, and they dem they're demonstrating the leap motion to Microsoft Game Studios from Redmond. In the bottom corner, we have um, some guests who have come from the UK Housing Associations uh, alongside Paul Foster, who is a principal um, a technologist at Microsoft. For the coming year, what we're looking at is a massive schools outreach where all of our first years in the first few weeks of term will be deployed to schools around London and they'll be working on projects to teach PHP Python and other scripting languages, bringing in some of the aspects that they're learning into the teaching domains for primary schools and secondary schools. Our proof of concepts with our second years are where our students get to build prototypes and to enable them to construct these original and innovative platforms that would uh, become promotional material for future research endeavors. And our advanced master's students um, they have their dissertations to complete and deploy software solutions for some of the biggest um, companies in the world. Some of the student special interest groups that have been created over the year include for 3D development with the Oculus Rifts. We have um, Azure cloud programming uh, students, students looking at finance sectors and security. But most importantly, this is about the inner instinct of computer scientists. From a from young age, these students, they felt something is really interesting about these technologies and they want to get together. And we, they want to be put into a group and they want to be perpetually um, given the motivation to find out who's doing what research in these areas and to grow themselves even outside of their courses. 
here we have our Engduino. Uh, I'm not sure if you've already seen that yet, but there'll be promotional material on our customized Arduino base that we've created. Microsoft sponsored the development of uh, touch develop capabilities of that uh, over the summer. And here's some of our students at DroidCon presenting to Sony, um, who um, are forming direct relationships with regards to Sony technologies. And our financial uh, system engineering groups, who under Donald Lawrence, who will come later, um, will they uh, get the opportunity to work with the largest banking sectors in, in the world. So um, this is for their um, summer dissertations. We also look to industry for sponsoring our courses and for raising competitions and awards. For example, the Google Award for our apps development is one of the most prestigious that Google has in Europe. Uh, we've been winning hackathons. We won, we won three this term. So Barclays, uh, a UCL hackathon, and I think there's another financial. Yeah, I won a Sony Sunday. Yep, yep. And uh, we, we love to invite guest speakers to come in and invite review panels so that there is a peer review process as well, that the clients and the industry can see our own progression and see how it matches with their expectations of new graduates coming into the field. My final notes are that we have the largest cloud account with Azure. Um, Steve Plank from Microsoft is here in the front um, from the Azure team. And uh, all of our CS students will be cloud enabled, cloud developers by summer 2014. We have uh, our first rapid software company simulation, which has 38 MSE students uh, currently working on a public sector service integration project. And our ethos is that students must publish their work. In order to change the world, they must become visible. And we want to use the best industry approaches and standards available. 